Amen. Great people of God, welcome to the Golden Treasure Help with Ingoze Bizoro. Hallelujah. I trust God. You are doing very well and very great. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once again, welcome to the presence of God. Amen. I would like us to bow our head to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, eternal rock of ages, king of glory, the one who rule and reign in the fears of men. I thank you and bless your holy name for all that you have been doing in our lives, in our destiny, in our family. Lord, we say thank you, O oh God. We appreciate you, your grace that you have released in our lives. Thank you for whom you are. Thank you for what you have been doing. Thank you for what you're about to do. Thank you, O oh God. Thank you for the bread of life. Thank you for your hands that are holding us. Thank you in the name of Jesus. We lift up the program to your hands. Come and have your way in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' matchless name. Amen. Amen. You are welcome. As you join, please like and share. I want to see your comments. I want to know where you are watching from. God bless you. Amen. Today, we are going to be looking at God's faithfulness. God's faithfulness. Hallelujah. I'm taking my scripture from the book of Psalm 100, verse 5. Amplified version. Amen. And it says, For the Lord is good, his mercy and his loving kindness are everlasting. His faithfulness and truth endure to all generations. Hallelujah. Psalm 108, verse 4. I read NLT. And it says, For your unfailing love is higher than the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Hallelujah. God's faithfulness is our ending law. It's higher than heavens and it reaches to the clouds. Hallelujah. God's faithfulness is immeasurable, extreme, extreme to measure. He cannot quantify it, He cannot measure it. It's unlimited. Hallelujah. Amen. God's faithfulness endures forever. It's everlasting. And I pray that the faithfulness of God will not elude you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. I read New King James Version. How do I know that God's, God is faithful? His faithfulness is His nature. Faithfulness is God's nature. So when we go to the book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 22, I read, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, love, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Amen. The fruit of the Spirit is God's nature. And one of it is his faithfulness. God's faithfulness endures forever. So faithfulness of God is his nature. Which also, you need to manifest it as a child of God. The fruit of the Spirit, it is what can lead you to heaven. It's not your gift. Because the fruit of the Spirit is the nature of God. His characteristics. You and I need to manifest it. Hallelujah. So God's faithfulness is needed in your life. It's needed to manifest in my life. Hallelujah. Amen. Also, God will also see faithfulness in you to respond to you. Oh, gently. He you needs your faithfulness. 
faithfulness. He needs my faithfulness to respond to us urgently. Hallelujah. So God's faithfulness enriches our life. God's faithfulness has so many things to do, which we are going to look into as we progress in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that the understanding of God will encompass us tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. What is faithfulness? Because you need to understand what is faithfulness. Faithfulness is being steadfast. Faithfulness is being steadfast, being loyal. When you're faithful to God, you will be committed to things that pleases him. You will be committed to his word. Hallelujah. If you're a married person, you need to be committed. You must be faithful to your marriage. Hallelujah. Amen. Even if you're working with somebody, you need to be faithful because faithfulness is a nature of God. Hallelujah. Faithfulness is being firm in adherence to promises. You must be trustworthy. You will be dependable, reliable. This is what faithfulness is. And going by this, God is dependable. God is reliable to keep his promises. Hallelujah. Amen. So God is dependable to do that which he has committed to do in your life, in my life. That is faithfulness. God is reliable. He is trustworthy to keep and to do that which he has said. Amen. Hallelujah. I want us to go to the book of Numbers, chapter 23, verse 19. I read New King James Version, and it says, God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. Has he said, and he will, has he said, and he will, and will he not do? Or has he spoken, and he will, and will he not make it good? Hallelujah. God will never say what he will not do. Whatever he says, he is committed to it. Whatever he says, he will do it. He will manifest it. He will come to pass. And that is the reason why God is dependable. If you depend on him, he will not fail you. Hallelujah. Amen. The book of Lamentation chapter 3, verse 23 says, I read Amplified Version, it says, They are new every morning. Great and abundant is your stability and faithfulness. Every morning, great is his faithfulness towards you, towards me. Hallelujah. No wonder a songwriter says, Great is thy faithfulness. Oh God, my Father, there is no shadow of turning with thee. The changes know the compassion that fell not. As thou hast been, the forever will be. Grand is thy faithfulness. Grand is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new messes I see. All I need that the hand has provided. Grant is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Hallelujah. God's faithfulness endures forever. Amen. And Bible said, Grant is a faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies will I see. You will see the new mercies of God each day of your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Brethren, I 
at this time like our at this time like ours we know what is going on in the whole world we know what is going on in individual life in families today hallelujah my husband told me he saw so many people on his way coming back they were begging for food they said they have not eaten and he has to buy some things for them but you and i god have been so faithful to provide for us you and i we are not going out anywhere begging food before we can eat that is faithfulness of god it is not because you are too good it's not because you are better than those who are out there begging for food it does by the mercy of god it does by his faithfulness that is helping us his grace is sufficient in our lives i want us to appreciate god's faithfulness towards your life towards your family towards your job hallelujah amen so god's faithfulness has made things possible for us even in this season of scarcity god's faithfulness has made it easy for us as if we are not in this world it just by his faithfulness by his grace by his love hallelujah the faithfulness of god enriches us and i pray that you will experience the richness of god's faithfulness in your life in your family even in this season hallelujah amen his word never fall to the ground the word of god confirms it he is not a man that he should lie nor a son of man that he should repent whatever he says he will stick to it hallelujah amen his compassion never fail. God is full of compassion. God is full of compassion. And when he, when he demonstrates his compassion over anybody, things changes. Hallelujah. Today, the compassion of God will come upon you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. What you need is to keep going you need to keep on keeping on in his word keeping his covenant because god's covenant is sure amen god never break his covenant it is only an eye that can do such a thing when god caught a covenant with our forefathers Abraham, he never broke it. He bring it to pass. Amen. So only what will keep you on is to make sure that you stick to the word of God. You study the scripture. You apply the word of God in everything you do in your life. Amen. His covenant is everlasting. And it's sure as long as you, you will keep your own. As long as you are faithful, God will be faithful unto you. Hallelujah. Amen. Faithful is as being trustworthy. Faithful is as being trustworthy. Amen. You will not say A and you are doing B. Hallelujah. Let people know you as somebody who they can trust and whatever you say you stick to it it is not when you say a hey, and when they come back to you you'll be saying uh, uh, uh. when did i say it god will help us in the name of jesus a faithful person is a person in whom you can put your trust A faithful person is a person whom you can put trust. Amen. So God is trustworthy because he's faithful. You can trust him. You can put your confidence in him. At all times, he will never let you down. 
Hallelujah. God never lets you down. Except you derail from his path. Except you derail from his word. Except you are no longer in his presence. Hallelujah. So God promises is trustworthy. God's promises is trustworthy. His word is trustworthy. If you believe in the word of God, it will come true in your life. It doesn't matter the challenge. It doesn't matter the situation. The word of God has power to destroy. It has power to build. It has power to transform. It has power to renew us. Hallelujah. Amen. So God's promises is trustworthy. And he is completely worthy of your faith. God is completely worthy of your faith. The Bible said in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. It is through your faith you can receive from God. It is through your faith you will move forward in this journey of the kingdom. So God needs your faith to walk. Hallelujah. No wonder Bible says, even if your faith is like the mustard seed, you can move a mountain. Hallelujah. Amen. So faithfulness comes from a place of trust and loyalty. Faithfulness comes from a place of trust and loyalty. Amen. You need to trust God. You need to be loyal to Him. Hallelujah. Faithfulness is a demonstrated, it's a demonstration of loyalty and trust in God's faithfulness. Faithfulness is a demonstration of loyalty and trust in God's faithfulness. You have to trust God's faithfulness because he will do what he says he will do. Hallelujah. Amen. Biblically, faithfulness is reflection of your relationship with God. Biblically, faithfulness is a reflection of your relationship with God. Amen. So you need to build your relationship based on faithfulness. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to also to know the evidences or the proofs of God's faithfulness in our lives. His faithfulness it's been proved. God's faithfulness is demonstrated by sacrificing his only and his one and only son, Jesus. One and only son, Jesus, for those who come to him. It's for those who come to him in repentance. Hallelujah. If God can sacrifice only because his son, is there anything he cannot do for you? If you trust in him, if you depend in him, if you have confidence in his promises, hallelujah, amen. God's faithfulness gives you value. God's faithfulness gives you value. You were nobody before you came to Christ. Nobody knows you. Hallelujah. But now you are valuable because God loves you. God's love over your life makes you to be valuable. And that's the reason why you can receive favor from man and from God. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Because God demonstrated his love by sacrificing one and only son, Jesus Christ, because of what? Love. Bible says his faithfulness, his mercy, his tender mercy, he loved, his loving kindness endure forever. God loves you. Hallelujah. Another evidence of God's faithfulness is protection. God protects you and your family. You know what is rampant in the world today, most especially our nation, Nigeria. Where you pass, nothing happens to you, but someone else passed there and something happens to the person. Where you pass, the road you pass, people are being kidnapped, people are being killed. So God's faithfulness is protection over your life and your family. Hallelujah. Amen. God's faithfulness protects you and your family members. There is more safety with Christ. There is more safety with Christ. How do I know it? Bible said in Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and they were saved. You are safe. You are protected because of God's faithfulness over your life and your family. Hallelujah. Amen. There are so many killings in the whole world today, but God's faithfulness shall protect you and your family members in the name of Jesus. Amen. Proverbs 18 verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and they are saved. You are saved. My family is saved. Your family is saved in the name of Jesus. The country you represent are saved because Jesus is a strong tower. Hallelujah. Amen. His faithfulness is more than enough for you. His faithfulness is more than enough for you. It's more than enough for me. Amen. God's strength behind you and his arms beneath you are more than sufficient for job ahead of you. God's strength, God's arm to uphold you. Is more than sufficient. It is more than sufficient for job ahead of you because there are so many things that God invested in you that you have not delivered. So many things in your life God has put in you. You still have so many things to do. So God's arm, God's strength, is more than enough for you. That is his faithfulness, his strength, his sufficiency over your life, over your destiny. Amen. Hallelujah. We should not be deceived by thinking we can handle things on our own. You need God's faithfulness. You need God's faithfulness. Hallelujah. So we should not be deceived thinking that we can handle all things on our own. No, God's faithfulness can do that for us. Hallelujah. Because there are so many things beyond our control. We don't have control over. So we should not deceive ourselves. We can do all things. No. But God can help us. His faithfulness sustains you. It's God's faithfulness that sustains us. Without his faithfulness, 
to sustain us. I don't know where you and I would have been. He cares for you today. He also cares for you tomorrow. He will not say, I have helped you today. Tomorrow you are on your own. God for fitness will help you today. We also help you tomorrow and everlasting. Hallelujah. Amen. And I pray for you that God will care for you in the name of Jesus. Through his faithfulness, you, you will be able to accomplish and achieve great things for yourself and for the kingdom of God. Through God's faithfulness, you will be able to accomplish and achieve great things for yourself and for the kingdom of God. It is by, it is by his faithfulness. Hallelujah. One of the evidence also is God's faithfulness. In God's faithfulness, is cleansing us. God's faithfulness cleanses us. And sometimes he washes the eyes of his children. He wipes away our tears. He uses it to clean us. Hallelujah. So that you and I can read properly his providence and his commandment. That is his word. He cleans our eyes so that our eyes will, will be able to read, to study the word of God. Nobody loves a time of discipline. Nobody loves discipline. Nobody wants discipline from anywhere. Hallelujah. So nobody loves a time of discipline that comes through the faithfulness of God. We always resist painful situations. Because they reveal more clearly our sinful nature, our weaknesses. Yet, God is faithful to allow the right amount of pressure to cleanse us. At times, He allows it to cleanse us so that we can be ready to be used by Him, to be a vessel. To be a tool in his hand. Amen. So another evidence is that his faithfulness revealed in you as you pray. God's faithfulness is revealed when you pray. Because God will answer your prayers. His faithfulness is revealed in your prayer. Because when you call on him. He will answer you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord's faithful. The Lord is faithful to answer your prayers according to his will, not your own will. And I decree today faithfulness of God will answer your prayers in the name of Jesus. As you call upon him, he will answer you. Because God is faithful. Then he will answer you according to his own will, not your own will. Hallelujah. Because God knows the best for your life. He knows the best for my life. So according to his own will and purpose, he will answer us. Because he reveals his faithfulness in our prayers. Amen and amen. Another evidence of God's faithfulness is shown through his love for us. Through his love. Hallelujah. He shows his faithfulness through his love. He loves you. He loves me. Amen. When we were still in our sin, 
I never gave one thought about God. He still, he still had his hand over us. Yet when we are sinner, God still loves us. And it's because of that love, he saved us. Then you need to embrace the love. You need to embrace God's love through his faithfulness. Hallelujah. Amen. The love of our Father is great. The love of our Father for his children is great and overcomes our weaknesses. Hallelujah. The love of our Father for his children is very great. It's unending and overcomes, it helps us overcome weaknesses. Hallelujah. Amen. So we love him because he first loved us. We love God because he first loved us. He loved us and he gave his son for us. So we love him because he first loved us. And his love endures forever. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. The word of God said in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 13, I read NIV. He says, if you are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot disown himself. If you are faithless, God remains faithful, for he cannot disown himself. Some versions say he will not deny himself. Amen. God is faithful. Even if you are faithless, you remain faithful. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. So faithfulness of God is what keeps us. Faithfulness of God protects us. He sustains us. Faithfulness of God strengthens us at a time of weakness. Hallelujah. His faithfulness makes us to live in safety. You go out in peace, you come back in peace. Hallelujah. That is God's faithfulness to keep us, to preserve us, to protect us, to care for us, to provide for us. Hallelujah. Amen. God's faithfulness overshadows us. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I hope you have been blessed because we are going to be praying because you and I will need God's faithfulness. Hallelujah. Remember God is dependable. God is trustworthy. God is reliable. God is committed to his word. Hallelujah. And your faithfulness will attract God's faithfulness. Hallelujah. Amen. And your faithfulness makes God to respond to you urgently. Amen. So you need to be committed. You need to have confidence in God. You need to trust in his word, in his promises. Hallelujah. Amen. And we lift up our voice and begin to thank the Lord for his faithfulness towards you, towards your family members, towards your job, towards your career, your marriage, towards your ministry, towards your children. Lift up your voice and say, Oh Lord, my God, I thank you for your faithfulness towards me. In the name of Jesus, can you lift up your voice and begin to mention those things that God is faithful towards you 
Is it in your marriage? God is faithful. Is it in your business? God is faithful. Begin to appreciate him. Appreciate his faithfulness towards your life, towards your family. In the name of Jesus, God's faithfulness sustains you. Begin to thank the Lord for his faithfulness to sustain you, to keep you, to protect you, to preserve you and your family. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for you are, for you are trustworthy. What you say you will do in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to say, Father, I thank you for you are trustworthy. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are dependable. Lord, I thank you. You are reliable. Lord, I thank you. In the name of Jesus, we trust you, oh God, and our confidence is in you. We say thank you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. You are dependable. You are reliable. You are trustworthy. In the name of Jesus, we appreciate you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Say, so, oh Lord, my Father, I appreciate you for your mercy, your loving kindness, your care, your providence. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and appreciate God for his mercy. The scriptures say, it's because of his mercy we are not consumed. It's because of his mercy we are not, we are, we are, we are not being ridiculed by the enemy. Lift up your voice and begin to appreciate God. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, O oh God, for your un our unending love towards our lives, O oh God. We say thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Say, so, O oh Lord, let your faithfulness not elude me throughout my lifetime. In the name of Jesus, can I hear you telling God that you should not allow his faithfulness to elude you or any of your family member. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, let your faithfulness not elude me throughout my lifetime. In the name of Jesus, let your faithfulness not elude my family members. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, let your faithfulness not elude us as a nation. In the name of Jesus, Oh Lord, we ask, let your faithfulness not elude my family members, not elude my children, not elude my spouse. In the name of Jesus, let, let your faithfulness not elude my business. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, so, Holy Spirit, help me to be faithful unto you in my service in your vineyard. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and ask the Holy Spirit to help you to be faithful unto him in your service in the vineyard of God. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to ask the Holy Spirit to help you to trust, to trust him at all times. In the name of Jesus, to trust him in all situations. In the name of Jesus, because when you trust God in all situations, he will come true for you. You need not to run helter scatter, looking for help where there is no help. When you trust in God and trust in his promises, he will come true for you. And I see God coming true for you in that situation. Sooner as you, sooner, less as you expected. In the name of Jesus, I see the hand of God in reaching you to turn around situations because he's a faithful God. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to tell the Lord to help you to be committed in his world, to be committed in his vineyard. Remember your faithfulness and trust God's faithfulness. And when you are faithful, God responds to you urgently. In any situation you are in, therefore ask the Lord to help you. Holy Spirit, come and help us to, to trust in the Lord. Come and help us 
to depend upon the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to appreciate God for answering our prayers. Lift up your voices and begin to appreciate this God. God is faithful. God is kind. God cares for us. God protects us. God provides for us. God makes things easy for us. Let's appreciate him. Oh Lord, we say thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor and adoration for whom you are. You are faithful. You are kind. You are awesome. Thank you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Praise Master Jesus. God bless you all. I can see Pastor Davidson. I can see Pastor Joy. I can see Yakub. I can see so many people. I may not mention your name. Please like and share. If you are not following this page, do follow us, the Golden Treasure Hub. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ngoze Buzoro. My Instagram, the Golden Treasure Hub. I will be richly be blessed. Also, you'll be notified when we are live. God bless you as you do so. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord share his countenance over your life and your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. As we enter into the weekend, may the Lord make a way for you. May his faithfulness come true in your life and your family. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Do you have a wonderful weekend? Hallelujah. See you next week by the grace of God. Remain in God's presence. Hallelujah. Shalom. Amen. Bye for now.